Hello and welcome to the W.B. Mason Coaching Report on GoHofstra.com. Joined as always by the head coach of the Hofstra Men's Soccer Program, Richard Nuttall. Coach, welcome. Thank you, Lenny. Thank you. Coach, we reached the halfway point yeah. of the 2019 season, nine games in, a 5-4 and four record, coming off a 2-1 win over LIU this past Tuesday night. Let's first touch on that game. Come from behind victory, trailed one nothing at the half, rallied in the second with two late goals. What did you see from your team that you were happy with or unhappy with? Yeah, I think it was really a, a little bit of a mirror image of the season. We're playing well between boxes and, uh, and doing some good stuff. And then uh, we've let ourselves down in both boxes again, haven't scored our chances and uh, gave up one late in the half, a free kick with uh, some sloppy defending, causing a free kick which we shouldn't have done. And uh, we're down at one nil at the half, but the good news is that we asked for that energy and uh, uh, to get the tempo of the game a little bit higher second half, and they did. And I was pleased with the way that we fought. We kept going, and uh, we managed to score two goals. One cracker from uh, Andrew Hebbock, a very uh, he's a very talented young man, and he came good with a wonderful goal, beat two men and put it in the top corner, and then uh, a set piece goal where. Uh, George going across the path of the ball caused it to go straight in from Aaron, Aaron Savile uh, uh, corner. So happy with the result, happy with the way we played, especially second half to respond to a 1-0 one, one deficit. But overall, we, we, we're, not, uh, we're not firing in all cylinders like that. Yeah, that brings me to my next question. At the midway point of the season, what's your assessment on the, on the team thus far? Yeah, strong B, I would say. Uh, we're doing a lot of good things at certain times. We're not stitching it all together. We're not doing great in both boxes uh, with our concentration, our endeavour, our uh, uh, ability to, uh, you know, what, what, I, what I would say back in England is get stuck in and um, we've been losing a little bit of uh, concentration. But the good news is, it's within us and I feel as though if we keep working hard in practice we can step it up another one or two levels and there's been some bright spots in the first nine games, our performance against JMU and um, then we've had flashes of 20 minutes, 30 minutes, half a game, 60 minutes, 70 minutes where we've done very well so I just feel you know with a few new players on the field if we really really keep working hard I think we can uh, achieve something. Okay, you've had a string of, of two non-conference games in a row back on Saturday at home against UNCW in a CAA game. Obviously, you know, standings early on in the season, but UNCW is, is in second place, yeah. Hofstra's in fourth place. Yeah. Important CAA game, always a good battle between the Pride and the Seahawks. What are you looking for on Saturday? Uh, UNCW are an incredibly well-coached team and incredibly talented individually. They did, did lose a major forward last year, but it looks as though they've you know, you replaced him and, and uh, really come in on form and we know that UNCW are talented and if we are not anywhere near our best we'll not win the game. Um, the good news is that it, it, it's a conference game I think the motivation is there from the players they understand the importance of the game and I think it'll be a it'll be a tough tense end-to-end -end game with, with, with two players two teams who will go for it so from that point of view it, it should be should be fun to come and watch. Uh, but it definitely will be a tense game with a lot riding on, on the outcome. I, I, I firmly believe that whoever wins that game on Saturday could could you know finish in the top two, which which is an important thing too. All right. When we come back, we're gonna have just, just a, minute, a minute, right? The return of just a minute. We've been waiting. We love all just a minute. So we've been waiting all all, all season to start this again, <laughs> and we'll have it back when we get back. Hello oh, and welcome back to Just a Minute, joined by Peter Meyer. Yeah, Peter Meyer. <laughs> Our first Just a Minute of the of the 2019 season. Coach, take it away. Yeah, just before we go into Just a Minute, I just want to comment about Pete, a senior on the team. He had a little bit of a bad uh, luck situation at the beginning of the year. He got an injury in practice. He's ended up with two screws in his uh, ankle and. Uh, I want to comment on his reaction since then. He's been at every practice, emotionally involved, and it shows the character he is. And he's going around, compete, lift your, lift your leg here, lift your leg. This is what he's going around with, but he gets to every practice on his trolley, 
and I'm so proud of the guy and how he's reacted to this situation. And I think it's time for just a minute. Are you ready, Pete? I'm ready. All right. First question. Lenny, take it away. Who are the biggest influences in your life? Uh, I would say my parents, both my mom and my dad. They're there for me through everything, and uh, I wouldn't be anywhere without them. So, Pete, if you want a million, million dollars, what would you do with it? I'd have to think about that one, but on the spot, I'd probably take my family and I on a nice vacation and take a nice two weeks to just relax and take a breath, to break from everything and just enjoy it. And then decide what you want to do with and the rest. And what I want to do with <laughs> the All rest. Right. What superpower would you like to have and why? Um, I'd say read minds. I mean, sometimes I'm just driving around and just looking at people, what would I do? Like, what are everyone else thinking? And I think reading minds would be pretty cool. All right, what would you say is your best trait, Petey? I'd say I'm very selfless. Uh, I like helping others, and I'm always there for my friends and anyone who needs me. So, I'd say being selfless. Good one. Good one. What are you about your worst trait? Ah. Come on, everybody has one. Uh, I mean, I am very organized. So maybe like my, I don't know the word, but like over organization sometimes. I, I don't know if that's the word for it, but. Okay. All right. Outside of Hofstra, what's your favorite sports team? Uh, the New York Jets. Unfortunately, they're not doing too well, but <laughs> maybe Sam Darnold can turn it around for us. Yeah. What movie can you watch over and over again? Uh, remember the Titans? I love that movie. Uh, Sunshine. Petey, being from Massapequa, how many times have you eaten at the All American Diner? Too many to count, <laughs> and I probably shouldn't be going there <laughs> too much. Uh, what are your career goals? Um, get a great job, um, work in the city for a couple of years, and then hopefully settle down on Long Island somewhere and uh, have an awesome family eventually. Great. Lastly, Pete, what do you like most about attending Hofstra University? Um, honestly, I'd say the people. You, perfect example just being around you and the team and all my friends all the time it's just incredible um, it's been such an amazing experience so far so I'd recommend this place to anyone great Petey awesome job thank you that's just thank a you. minute finished that is just a minute and like I said Hofstra UNCW tomorrow at noon and you've been watching the W Mason Kosher Report on GoHofstra.com